Belgian Malinois is often confused with the German Shepherd opens in a new tab. But with a closer look, there are differences in origination and physicality. The Belgian Malinois originated in Belgium, while the German Shepherd hails, of course, from Germany. They are both purebred dogs but the Belgian Malinois is actually one of four Belgian Shepherd varieties along with the Belgian Lachenois, the Groenendale, or Belgian Sheepdog, and the Belgian Tervuren, opens in a new tab. In physical appearance, the German Shepherd is a heavier and larger dog and the Malinois is smaller but has more energy. Both dogs were bred for herding and are very active. If you are thinking of getting a Malinois, you wouldn't want that energy and exuberance sapped by a condition that could stop them in their tracks. Hip dysplasia opens in a new tab. Is the most well-known of debilitating disease striking the Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd alike, but there is another, the lesser-known condition of elbow dysplasia. Elbow dysplasia is one of the most widespread causes of lameness in younger dogs opens in a new tab. Abnormalities are exacerbated by the growth of your dog's frame or skeletal bones. Growth causes the condition to worsen and the elbow joint becomes malformed and even begins to deteriorate. Hip dysplasia opens in a new tab. Occurs in the hind legs of canines while elbow dysplasia can be found in the front legs. The elbow joint is made up of the ulna, radius, and humerus. At the top of the ulna is a bone called the anconeal process. Up until six months of age, in dogs, the anconeal process is not yet joined with the ulna. The bone helping to form the curved portion of the ulna is coronoid and after six months the anconeal process begins to mesh with the ulna. Elbow dysplasia occurs when this conjunction does not happen and can cause the development of osteoarthritis.